Hello again everybody, this is Craig Peters here from Sound Iron, and today we're going to be checking out the Zitheret version 2.0 upgrade. This enchanting little instrument is a simple 8 string fretless zither roughly 12 by 20 inches in size. Zithers are a broad family of hollow bodied string instruments common throughout all of Europe and Asia. At softer velocities it has a pristine almost harp like sound, while the hardest notes bend deeply at the attack with a pronounced twang. We chose a pluck articulation and captured it very close and dry in wide stereo. We sampled our little zither extensively as we do with all of our instruments. As always, we've packed our custom user interface with lots of great sound shaping controls that give you the flexibility to warp the sound in many ways. You have controls over swell, attack, release, offset, vibrato, filter, pitch, coarse and fine, articulation switching, crossfading, layering, and so much more. The ensemble articulations have each note at their root pitch and then stretch to fill the gaps between notes. When you select any individual note, it's still rooted at its own natural root note, but then it's stretched all the way up and down. You'll also find an adaptable LFO system. You can also apply your choice of 12 low pass, high pass, and effects filters, and a customizable arpeggiator, all packed with plenty of performance enhancing features. The user interface controls are rounded out by our modular effects rack window, with 18 different DSP effects modules that you can assign to any of the 10 available slots, in any order you wish. Each string has an average of 8 velocity layers with 4 round robin variations per layer. We also captured palm mute release triggers with 2 velocities and 4 round robins per note. We also created an array of custom sound design effects patches extending the creative possibilities even further. In the main NKI, you have the ability to enable and disable each of the four layers. Locking two or more layers will let you manipulate the settings for those at the same time. Diving deeper into the controls of this library, using the swell knob, you can set it to normal or invert. Let's try inverting one of the layers and we'll learn the MIDI CC to the swell knob and crossfade between them. The release knob has a drop down window with normal and pad options. This is a great way to add more pad like effects to more percussive sounds or shorten them to reinforce the sounds that are there. On the more longer ambiences and sub-synth layers, you can add simulated vibrato.
Each layer also has its own filter knob. The drop down window lets you choose between 12 different filter types. With the pitch knob, you can alter the coarse and fine pitch. Coarse will adjust it by semitones, and fine will adjust it by scents. And at the very top above all these controls is the Advanced tab. These are the master controls to the overall sound layers of the library. Here you have options for LFO, Filter, and the built-in Arpeggiator. The LFO section has five different waveforms to choose from, including Sine, Square, Triangle, Sawtooth, and Random. Target lets you choose between different parameters that the LFO affects, as well as the Beat, Intensity, and Fade knobs. Filter will give you the same 12 filter types as featured for each individual layer, but this will affect the overall sound. Except here you can change the source of the resonance and frequency for volume, mod wheel, expression, key position, and graph. Below that you have the step sequencer table. This works when the source is set to graph. Then you have the controls for resonance, frequency, and invert. Below this you have the scale lock. Click the lock icon next to the scale lock label to turn on the key scale locking system. So you can go ahead and play as sloppy as you want and still be in key. The ARP section lets you create, save, and load your own arpeggios, rhythmic patterns, and step sequences. To turn it on, click the radio button next to the ARP label. There are 20 different arpeggiator presets to choose from. Let's go ahead and try a few of them out.
From there, you can modify the preset and save your own to use later on. In the modes menu, you have three different modes to choose from, including normal, hold, and hold plus minus. The table steps value adds the velocity steps that will be cycled through in the sequence. You can double click to change the value or simply drag up or down to add steps. Zitheret also comes with 20 custom effects presets designed to inspire and use as a creative starting point for your next composition. Let's check out a few of the different presets.
If you want to learn more about Zitheret, make sure to visit our website at soundiron.com for more info and demos. And make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to catch more Zitheret videos as we post them. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.